All right, everybody, uh, we are back here. We're gonna move on to our second sphere. Um, so we just did underpainting, all right? Now we're gonna actually move on to our second one here, which is called glazing, all right? Now this word has popped up a few times already this year and I've shown kind of some of you. And the idea with glazing is that you're gonna use very transparent layers. So we're gonna thin our paint out using water and you're gonna, it's a little more of a layering process. So this style takes a little bit longer um, and typically nobody paints their whole painting this way, but we're gonna do it here just so you get the concept. A lot of times glazing is just used at the end to do shadows and highlights um, and things like that that you wanna add to your painting. Now we're gonna end up actually just doing one the whole way through. Um, and some people do paint really well this way. So it's kind of just how it goes for you, all right? Uh, so what we're going to do is you're going to pick a color, whatever color you guys want to do, and uh, you're going to add some white to it. So I'm going to grab some white, and I'm going to mix it over here, and I'm going to grab some red, and I'm going to mix that. And what it's going to do is it's going to make a nice pink, right? So red and white make pink. Come in a little more. So whatever color you chose, it's going to thin that down. Now, I wouldn't do this probably with yellow, all right? So don't do it with yellow. You can, but it's just a little harder. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill in the whole picture, just the sphere part with that pink. Now, I kinda wish I would've gone a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna add a little bit more white to it and mix it in while I still can. Um, and this go around, obviously, I'm still kinda painting with the shape of the sphere but more importantly, we just want to get a nice solid paint down. We're going to let this dry. We're going to move on to the background in a second. And we'll come back to this later. Add a little more paint. All right, just a flat kind of dulled out color. So whenever you add white, uh, it's always going to lighten it. It's also going to make your painting a little duller, all right? So that's kind of what white will do. So go ahead, pick a color, and paint that in. And then we'll move on to the next step. So the next step, um, you're just going to fill in your table, and you're going to fill in the sky. So same concept. You're going to add a little white to them both times, but obviously change colors. Uh, let's say I want my table to be... I'm gonna go with blue. So I'm gonna add a little white to my blue here. And it should make a nice sky blue. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just fill that in. And again, it's just a solid color. We're not worrying about blending yet. We'll get to that stuff, but you have to kind of put these flat layers in first to be able to do the glazing technique. So your paint shouldn't be streaky. Try to have it all the same. And then I obviously choose something different than for your sky, your background, to do back there. So if I did blue on the bottom, just kind of looking at what I have here, I'm going to grab green. And again, you're gonna mix just a little bit of white with that. It's gonna make a mint. And go ahead and lay that in.
All right, guys, so super easy on this one to get started. Um, basically, get yours covered with just a little dim down. Everything's got dulled with white and let it sit. And we'll move on to the next step when we get there. So go ahead and get to this point and then sit tight.